Hello there, fair viewer. I'm here to tell you about the Drambo 2.0 update. Drambo 2, Drambo Harder, you know, uh, yeah, Drambo anyway. I'm the man who shouldn't speak. Uh, that's not my real name, that'd be a bit weird, but that's just the name of this YouTube channel at the moment. Uh, and maybe my live act going forward, who knows? But you don't want to be here about that, you want to talk about Drambo. Um, unfortunately, I'm not the most experienced at modular synthesis. Uh, which would be great for someone teaching you about Drambo 2.0, given that it's a modular groove box. However, there are other people uh, more eminently qualified to talk about detailed and complicated things. What I'm here to do is uh, talk to you about Drambo 2.0 in terms of my own workflow. And uh, I'm uh, a uh, kind of an indie rock connoisseur a Tom York radio heady kind of person um, and that's how I tend to use Drambo in that kind of context um, uh, not to do indie rock obviously that would be ridiculous but like you know Tom York inspired electronic kind of things you know what I'm talking about here maybe you don't um, yeah so this has been a great introduction as you can see I'm no uh, Red Moon's recording I'm no loop pop I'm no Jake Pack, I'm no sound test room, I'm no Ben Richards, who's an excellent tutorial on Drambo 2.0 you should really watch. Um, the reason I'm not doing mine exactly like his is because he would kind of embarrass me, really. Uh, so there you go. But I am showing my face and he, he won't. So, um, you know, one up for me or one down. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, give me the thumbs up. Uh, because at the moment, my channel is less liked than Amber Heard, um, which isn't, isn't great. So, uh, yes, moving, fill me along to Drambo, because these intros can get too long. Have you had that? When it's like five minutes of, please subscribe to, to my Patreon, like my video, blah, blah, blah. You just want to see a bloody app. Um, so, I'll do that now. Cheers, bye. So, Drambo 2.0, we've been waiting for it forever, or seemingly. That's nearly a year, I think, and a few of us have been beta testing it for a few few months now, and we've been um, gradually working on it, uh, giving ideas to the developer Giku, as he's called online. Giku, Giku, I think it's Giku. Uh, that's how I pronounce it anyway, with a hard G. Anyway, let's uh, let's have a look around, see what's new. Uh, I'll be doing this in uh, kind of explaining my own workflow. And uh, everyone will have their own workflow with Drambo, but uh, I'll show you how I'm making use of the new features. Now, one of the first things you can see, if I move my mouse around here, one of the reasons I hadn't done tutorial videos in the past was because, you know, you have those ones where you can't even see anything that's happening. Because if, you're, if you slide things on the, on the iPad, you know, with, uh, with your fingers, you know, it's quite hard to kind of keep up uh, for, for the viewer. Um, and um, I had the idea to set up a camera above and show my hands and everything, but that also, you know, filming the iPad, trying to get the sound out of the iPad, etc. It's just like, uh, as well. So um, I've uh, resorted to kind of an old school, new school method of seeing other people use, which is to just use a mouse. Um, and when I need to slide something, I will try to remind myself to tell you about it because um, some things in Drambo do require sliding and sliding, trying to slide with a mouse uh, on an iPad screen, it's very hit and miss. Uh, in fact, I'm not even sure it's properly possible. So there we go. Right, so let's have, have a look around. Now, one of the main things you'll see is that um, record and play used to be up here at the top but now they are conveniently located in the middle and you see the crossfader has vanished to be replaced by this black bar what does this mean well if i uh, begin to type a few notes in on a track i just have a kick track here then what you'll see every time i enter a note do you see how it's appearing here well uh, now you have a, a nice view of your sequence um, as you're writing it. And um, if I increase how many bars there are in the sequence, as I can do now, 
in the, this bar here, if I just hold on the right and then drag, you'll see I can add as many bars as I want up to 16 bars. So if we make it four bars and uh, we can focus in on any of the bars of our sequence that we want. So I'll do uh, perhaps not quite the same as the first first bar here. See, we can click click between bar one, click bar two. We can select the two bars and see see everything there, or we can select all four. We can also loop a bar. So if I find I played this, see it's playing the whole whole of it. But then if I turn on loop, I can just select the two bars and it will loop. Or I can just click one bar and it will loop like that. So that's quite handy if you just want to focus on a particular area of your of your pattern. And also if uh, you want to use it as a performance tool while you are playing a song. So that's really cool. Um, you can, if you click in this icon here, you can also increase the number of bars in your pattern uh, by a bar, you can t you multiply it, you can divide it. I think that was there before, but uh, worth having a look at again. You can also um, control how f f fast the pattern plays. So I have it on one at the moment, which is just ordinary. So there you go, it just, you know, if I did it four, it'd be like, whoa, look at that, that's so fast. If I, if I did it, if I did it a quarter, it'd be like waiting for, Wait for a cup of tea for a long time, you know. But in terms of um, trying to do holly rhythms and things, if you have a few tracks running at different lengths and speeds and everything, that uh, could be pretty cool. Anyway, uh, is it polyrhythm or polymeter? I can never remember which is which, or if polymeter is even a term. Anyway, as I said, amateur here. Um, in my months and years with Drambo, I've uh, kind of graduated from being a complete noob to only being a, a regular noob. Um, and I, I hope I hope that anyone who's watching this who hasn't used Drambo before or has been m mystified by it in the past can kind of come to appreciate that at its uh, at its kind of l low level, it is just a groove box, and you aren't having to do anything particularly complicated with it if you don't want to but if you want to then you can you can do loads and loads and loads with it um moving on to the um the first like i'd say headline feature for me anyway in terms of workflow is auto grow rec record you can turn this on in this menu at the top here as you can see it's already on i believe it's on by default but you know i could be wrong about that I don't think I am. I think it is on. I think it is on automatically. Anyway, um, one one thing just before we cover auto grow record is I want to uh, get rid of what's in this sequence at the moment. So what I can do is um, you'll have to w watch my hands for this one. You can't watch my hands because I'm using a mouse. You can't see on the, see my hands on the screen, so you just have to imagine me now ho holding holding this and then dragging it. See, see, I'm dragging it, and you see the minus little minus signs appeared. If I do that, do it off the screen, that has got rid of it. And you can also, if you just hold click in it, you can clear, you can you can you can crop the selection. So if if I had more than one well, more than one bar still there it would um, crop to however many bars I had selected. In fact, let's let's show that in action rather than explaining it terribly. Um, if I have four bars, I'll just put a couple of random notes in each one. Then if I select those two, the menu appears, I hit crop, there we go, it's cropped to there. Yeah, so I'll uh, once again just use my finger and Get rid of this. You can also, as you can see, if you hold it, you can you can have these options. So I could just clear the notes, or you you, you can't actually get rid of the first bar completely because you obviously you have to have a bar in the sequence. So let's talk about auto grow record after I have a sip of wine. 
should have been moving this around really while I was having that wine just to uh, provide a visual thing for you to all look at. But anyway, wine's lovely. Okay, so Auto Grow Record is, for my money, the most important aspect, uh, new aspect of the workflow in Drambo 2.0. Uh, I use it all the time and it's great. Uh, if you remember how you used to record in Drambo before 2.0, or if you are a new user, then I'll let you know this as well. You used to um, choose a note. Well, there were two ways. One was to choose choose a note, then you put it into the sequencer. You might want it longer like that. And you choose another note and you do that, blah, blah, blah. Or alternatively, you could um, you could live record in. You had record up, up here. See, it's moved. Um, you had record up there, you'd hit that, and then you would live record notes in. The only problem with that was that you had to know exactly how long you wanted your sequence to be before you recorded it. No longer. For those of us who are less organized and kind of want to just go with the flow a bit and uh, work out how long we want a sequence while we're playing it, it has now auto grow record. Uh, you would activate it by hit, hitting um, hitting record here and, and then hitting play. And what will happen, I'll, I'll explain what's happening here because uh, this is another mode which I will go into shortly. Um, let's talk about auto grow. Auto grow. Yes. It's very exciting. I can't wait to show it to you. Okay. Suspense is over. Um, I will hit play here. We'll have a four bar count, four beat counting, I'm sorry, and then we will uh, record something in. In fact, I think I'll record something in on another track. I have a few few tracks here. This is my kind of d default template for Drambo, which at some point I might explain, probably not in this video, but on this track, I just have a, um, if I move, move up the key a bit. Oh, look, you've exclusive preview of this uh, other mode which uh, I'll tell you about I'll tell you about soon not yet not yet turn off record okay here we go turn on record again okay four four count now who's to say that uh, amazing music cannot be created in tutorials Certainly not me. Let's play that back and hear the majesty. Let's set a reverb down. That'll completely save it. Uh, okay, yes. Um, the important thing is not the content, but the technique. Um, so what's, what's happening here is um, if you... If I remove everything that was here, uh, then we can take another look. If you have a look here, let me uh, actually remove these two bars. If you have if you have a look here, watch what's happening in the middle here as as I auto grow record, okay? We'll have a four four count and then have, check this middle out. I hit um, I hit play to cease the recording. However, there are there are other ways um, which I will tell you now. But what you what you probably saw is that while Auto Grow was on, there the, there was like a plus and a red in here, and that means Auto Auto Grow. When red's on, Auto Grow's on. When grey is on, while well, it's recording, Auto Grow is off. Now, what we should find is that now that there is actually a sequence in here, if I hit record. Again, it will no longer auto grey. Let's have a look, shall we? Now, see here, it's now grey. That means auto grow is off. But we can turn auto grow on again if we want to, and it will uh, it will carry on as soon as it reaches the end of bar four. I'll do that now. I'll tap here. I'll see see if it carries on. And it did. Yay! Now there was a version recently uh, where auto grow, if you just so I'll just stop record slightly into a new bar. It would try to work out whether you actually wanted that new bar or whether you wanted to revert to the previous bar. So for, for example, if, um, if I only wanted f four bars but I hadn't actually stopped the recording until 
into bar five somewhere, then Drambo would try to work out uh, if you actually wanted a bar five or not. And it, if not, it would revert to four bars. However, I tried this a minute ago. I recorded and that didn't seem to be happening anymore. So, uh, yeah. So I've left that out for now. I'll um, have a word with G Giku, the developer, and uh, see if that is making its return or at some point or whether it was just user error on my part. Could be either, frankly. Well, that hardly looked like a jump edit at all. Um, I've decided to break this up into a few videos rather than uh, just one long one because it was uh, already kind of growing way too long. So join me next time for a look into the clip mode um, in the same professional manner as this video has been. Um, like and subscribe, please, uh, if you like this video. If you if you hated it, uh, then not sure I blame you, but uh, you, you know, keep it yourself. Uh, be lovely to each other in the the comments, and enjoy enjoy Drambo. I, I will prepare more videos for you soon. Sorry about that.